Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more TDC 2019. And of course, we're going to play for you today is a course by Friend Bomber, and this is called Hawks View Golf Club. Now we're going to get straight into it. This is a lighter course. I've already actually loaded the first hole in because if you ever played a lighter course, uh, the first time you actually load it in, it takes quite a, a few seconds to load up. I don't know how it is on consoles, but it takes I don't know five to ten seconds on on my PC to load the, 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 the sort of first hole in. Okay, so we're going to get straight into it and I'll, I'll talk about the course and that when we get in now. So the fairways are firm, the greens are normal and the green speed is a medium. Uh, we are going to go off the black tees, uh, 7,073 yards and let's get cracking. Now, if you're not familiar, oh look at that, I mean look at that first hole. Wow, beautiful. I can't wait to play this, really can't. Now, if you're not familiar with any of um, Friend Bomber's courses, try his TPC Sawgrass. It's probably the, the most played course that he's got, and it's actually better than HB's official course. Now, I'll, I'll put a link in the description of his course catalog. He must have, oh, I don't know, 50, 60 courses on there by now, and all of them are absolutely really, really well done. So I'm going to put the old sky cam on. I love that, that view off that first hole. It's just so unnatural. And I think lighter courses as well. Uh, fair enough, you've, you've got the proper topography, you've got the, the right distances from the, the tee to green, you've got the bunkers and all that, are in the right place and all that, but the designer doesn't take care of the surrounding areas and the planting and things like that, then to me, eh, it's not that good. But when you get a designer who does take his time and does care, lighter courses are absolutely spectacular, absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at this. It's like a bloody nature trail, isn't it? Look at this. Down this little creek here. Now, I'm going to read out what he says here. Okay, Hawksview Golf Club, located in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Located on an Indian reserve. With beautiful terrain and views. Check out the totem pole on number two. That guards the creek. Oh, there it is now. That guards the creek in front of number two green. The championship caliber Como Crossings course. So this is Como Crossings. I think there's... I had a quick look on the internet. I think there's three courses on the plot. So the championship uh, caliber Como Crossings course at Hawks View was rated as Wisconsin's best golf course in 2015 by Golf Advisor Reviews. It was also voted Lake Geneva's best golf course in 2015, 16 and 18. The par 72, 7,074 yards. I mean, look at the topography here. Look at the terrain work. That is just so natural looking. So the par 72, 7,074 yard layout features dramatic changes in elevation, pristine playing conditions and beautiful landscaping throughout. Five sets of tees will ensure that you can find the right yardage for your game. Okay, now we're going to do a quick turnaround here and we're going to head up and take a little look through the clubhouse and then I'll probably do like a, a sort of blimp view and we can have a look at the plot as well. And you've got that little creek just coming down in front of the number two green now. Lovely, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let's zoom down to the, the old clubhouse here. And we should have a look. And there's a little bit of a lake just to the left of the clubhouse here. That must be the, the, where the green keeper keep all the, the equipment. <clears throat> and there I am there, the handsome old fella, just standing waiting on the first tee. And I do like this sort of brownish, reddish texture of the mulch or pine, whatever it is here. And you've got the trees and the bushes. Again, this must, must be where they keep the, the golf carts. Okay, you got a little pra you got a practice green there. Now I did see as we were coming past, there we go. It's kind of a little, little sort of driving range just smack them up the hill there <laughs> okay it's a lovely looking clubhouse as well again there's that little sort of practice green just out the front of the the clubhouse there very nice oh look there's, there's no door <laughs> i wish um, hb would take a little bit more care and the, the, the sort of clubhouses and things like that but you can see that it's like a clubhouse joined onto a clubhouse joined onto a clubhouse but it looks a bit okay let's take a little look around the back end again i love these sort of big long wispy grasses that some of the designers put down it really does give that natural look to it i mean it's a pity you couldn't get that all over the course but the, the course wouldn't load it would lag like hell if you did that again lovely plan around here to the side of the, the clubhouse here and you've got your car park and like i said 
a lot of people wouldn't see things like this, but I mean, the, the care and attention that he's put into this is absolutely fantastic. Really, really well done. So there we go. We're going to take a quick look up and take a look at the plot here. Uh, very nicely done. There's a massive big building way over there. But yeah, look at the, look at the plot he's got here. Very nice. Now, I think that road there in the center, I think that actually divides the course. I think this here is the, um, what's it called? The Como Crossings course. Now, if you look down here, there's no pins or anything like that. And he hasn't actually proper planted it yet. So I think that's the other course that's actually on the plot. I really, I like it when designers do that. They can put two or three courses on one plot. But let's have a little look about, shall we? Wow, look at the elevation change off of this one. Damn, that's quite high. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Now, if, as I said, uh, this is a LIDAR course. If you're not familiar with what LIDAR is, um, I'll, I'll, I'll do a little section here. I've done this before, actually. Uh, LIDAR, or light detection and ranging, is a popular remote sensing method used for measuring the exact distance of an object on the Earth's surface. Where's my bloody cursor gone? There it is. So typically what they do, either a helicopter or an airplane goes up and they, they fire lasers down to the ground and as it comes back, they measure it. So everything is absolutely bang on. The um, the fairways, the, the little humps, the little bumps, all the little nuances of the fairways and things like that are absolutely spot on. The size of the greens, where the bunkers are and things like that. But like I said, if the designer doesn't take care and attention then they're not that great but the friend bomber does an absolutely fantastic job now let's head back down this way and let's see what else we can see there's that little creek there as well love the big sort of buildings out here now i think that's that other no nope, it's part of the course as well this road here i think that divides the course as well now the thing with the LIDAR courses as well, as I said, you're going to get all these little humps and bumps on the fairways. And it really does add to the, the, the sort of realistic way of playing the course. And this must be, I wonder if this is Lake Geneva. Pretty big lake. Not too bad. So I think we'll head up to the first tee and we should get this started, shall we? And see how it plays. That's the thing about LIDAR courses and the like proper courses unless it's something like augusta you haven't got the the eye candy that you've got with um <clears throat> a lot of these fantasy courses but they, they play if they're done right they play absolutely fantastic now where i am at here i am down here on the first tee just waiting patiently as he always does and we're going to get started oh get back up there oh not that f10 <laughs> there we go <laughs> forgot what i was doing there Okay, right. Here we go. Holt View Golf Club. Hole 1, 439 yards. Par 4, stroke index 5. 10 mile an hour wind coming off the right hand side. So we're going to aim down towards that bunker and just let the wind drag in again. But as I said, when that flyby started, that view off that first tee with them long grasses and that, absolutely fantastic. Okay, gets a nice drive to start off with. That's what I like to see. Yeah, it's bounding down the fairway, that. 306 yards. Okay, hole one, 439 yards. So what we've got here, 136 yards. Again, I forgot what I was doing there. I'll tell you what, I must be going senile in my old age. I really must. Let's put a little bit of loft on that. Slight little left to right there, but that wind, nine mile an hour. Okay, perfect, perfect. That wind is going to bring it round towards the pin. Beautiful. Get in there. Go on. Oh, yes. What a shot. That's just going to leave us a lovely little tapping for the birdie. Okay, on a hole two. This is the one with the totem pole. This garden, the, the, the green by the creek. Hole two, 370 yards. Par four, stroke index three. And like I said, the topography and the, the, the terrain, all these little nuances, all these little humps and bumps on the fairways and things. 
Okay, two wood, that should be fine again. Drive was going to be too much, but we've got that 10 mile an hour wind coming off the right hand side. So we're going to aim down this right hand side. Nice. Now, as I, get, as, as I said earlier, if you're not familiar with what LIDAR is, I, I, I sort of told you what it is that lays our posties and it measures everything bang on. But I was actually helping Han, who's another really, really well established designer. And what they do is they get the LiDAR data and then they put um, Google open street maps over the top and, and you can actually trace the fairways, the bunkers, the greens, where they are. And it just sits on top of the terrain. And then you import that into the golf club. There was a guy called um, Chad Golf who actually just, uh, who actually um, created this little tool. It wasn't HB that did it. It was a guy called Chad Golf who just created it for the um, the community. And what a what a fantastic job he's done. The only thing is it's only PC based, so the console guys still have to do it the old way. Okay, 107. So it's playing around about 110, and we've got 108 with the sand wedge, but we've got that nine mile an hour wind. So we're gonna down loft this a little bit. Okay, perfect, perfect. And that wind is bringing it lovely round towards the pin, but it's gonna be left of the pin, uh, but it's pin high. So that sets us up another birdie putt. Oh, do you know what? Because I was so close in that first hole, didn't realize 148 speed, that's pretty slow. Wow, Jesus, look how quick that turned. Bloody hell. I thought I'd put enough weight in that as well, just take some of that break out. Okay. But we get the par. Again, you've got them long grasses over the, the bank of that sort of little hillock there, at the back of the green. Hole three, two, oh Jesus. Hole three, 215 yards, par three, stroke index one. Let me just mute my mic a sec, guys. My mouth's a bit dry and I'm still coughing. Tell you what, this actually reminds me of a course. We used to. I told a little story um, a couple of weeks ago in one of the courses I played. Uh, we used, to, uh, me and a bunch of guys from work, we used to go down to Devon every year. We played um, a golf course. It was Manor House Hotel. Oh, Christ, I can't remember the name of the golf course now because I'm, I'm talking about 20 years ago. And one of the holes was like this. We were actually above tree level, looking down, but it was a par four. And wow, what a sight it was. Kind of reminds me of that. Okay, 212, 87 down, so take roughly, what, 30 off that. So it's playing around about 180. 183, nine mile an hour wind. Let's put a little bit of loft on that as well, I think. Okay, we get the perfect, perfect. Mind you, that 10 mile an hour wind, that is really high in the air, so that wind is probably going to drag it around quite a bit. Oh, yes, what a shot. <laughs> right on the, right on the, the front of the, the green that landed. Absolutely perfect. But as I said, I should have aimed a little bit more to the, the right there with that wind. Okay, well, we've got 12 feet, one inch up. Oh, that looks pacey. Shit. Yep, too hard. Way too hard. What I tried to do there, I tried to rotate my controller a little bit. I mean, if you've watched my playthroughs, you know if I rotate my controller, it gives me a sort of straighter putt from a, a, a straighter swing from a putt. But I find it very hard to gauge my distances. <laughs> okay, hole four, 417 yards, par four, stroke index nine. Again, you've got that such a natural looking view off this. We're hitting downhill here. Beautiful looking course. As I said, he does a fantastic job. And I can't remember if I said it, but I will put a link in the description for his course catalog. Give it a look, give some of these courses a play because they're absolutely fantastic. Tell you what, we're hitting the drives pretty nice. That's going to run quite a bit as well because we're going downhill. Quite a bit of elevation change that. Okay, not a bad drive. 333 yards. Okay, a little bit of a slope left to right here. 86. That's playing, what, 85? So what I'm actually going to do... So we're going to put it on the normal shot. Oh, and we're going to go down to the lob wedge uh, with a full loft. That will give me about 82. So if we just go about there, that should be about right. 10 mile an hour window. Let's go a little bit more. OK, 
Okay, it's turning nice. Ah, oh, still a little bit left of the pin. Oh, bloody hell, that went right over the top there. I think it was on a, a little bit of a downward, uh, downhill slope there, which does add, add, actually add distance to your, to the ball. Okay, 20 feet, 4 inches up. Turn, 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 turn. Get in. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I thought that was going to drop. So that's a little tap in for the par. Okay, a bit of a string of pars here. Hole 5, 463 yards, par 4, stroke index 11. Again, such a natural look to it. I don't know why, but there are some people that don't actually like LIDAR courses. Some of the, the comments that you read on the forums and things like that, I don't get it. Anything that betters the game is good for the game, I think. Oh shit, it's fast. I'm kind of hoping it clears that bunker. It might kick off. And it is. Should have said does. I was going to say did. <laughs> but I said this it did it did okay nice drive that 136 so it's playing around about 138 138 122 I think we should be good with that a little bit of a slope there oh bollocks another fast that's going to keep it out to the left. Hopefully it makes the green now. Oh, what a kick. It kicked right onto the green now, but it might actually hit the fringe. Nope, it's actually held. Gives us a chance of a birdie. And what a great view down at that lake there as well. Okay, 14 feet, 2 inches down. Oh, bugger. So that is going to leave us another par. Come on, we've got to get a birdie at some point. Wow, what a view hitting over the lake here. Love the rock work all the way so around the tea boxes and the green complex. Okay, plenty of room on the green. 10 mile an hour coming off the right hand side, 196. So five iron. So let's put a bit of loft on that. Nice, we get the perfect, perfect for a change with the iron. Now, I think I moved that a little bit too far to the right, did I? No? Oh, go on, go on. <gasps> oh, so close. Almost a hole in one. All right, come on, birdie this time. Yes. That's the thing with these greens, 148. You can afford to put a little bit of, um, a little bit more weight on the putt. Just take some of that break out. Hole seven. 523 yards, par 5, stroke index 15, and we're hitting back over the lake again. Tell you what, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to hit off <laughs> a tee shot like this. Mind you, mind you, when I used to play golf, I had a natural sort of, I'd say a, a fade to my ball. It was more of a slice. Uh, before I had my back problems and all that, I actually got my handicap down to 10. I was playing pretty well. Okay. So we're going to aim down this left-hand side, let the wind to just drag it back into the fairway for us, and hopefully we don't hit it fast. But we hit a perfect, perfect. Nice. Yeah, we used to have a society in work, and I remember there was one day we went out, you know, in your society match, you, you, you play the best round, you play nearest the pin, you play longest drive, and I, oh, best round of golf I ever played. I hit a uh, 79 <clears throat> for the... the the best round I won the longest drive and I won the nearest the pin <laughs> I pissed them off a bit <laughs> they dropped my handicap quite a bit after that round I tell you okay they, they thought I was they, they thought I was fucking like teabagging my handicap but no actually I played out my skin that day I really did what course was that now it's got Della Pre in Northampton around about near Northampton I think is it Northampton? I can't remember. It was such a long time ago. Okay, 207. 13 up, so that's playing around about 211. And we've got 211 with a 5 hybrid here. So I'm going to put quite a bit of loft on it. 
Got a bit of a slope right to left. Oh, do you see how that just moved left straight off the, the floor there? Okay, wow. Okay, we've got a chip here, 13 feet, uh, 13 yards, one foot down. So I'm going to put it down at the nine yard here. Go on. Oh, slow greens, I keep forgetting. I'm so used to 160, 170 greens. Okay, so this is going to be another par. Oh, no, it was birdie, it was par five, so it was, yeah. <laughs> ah, could have been on there for an eagle, damn. Okay, hole eight, 437 yards, par four, stroke index seven. Okay, the fairway sort of just narrows right between these two bunkers here. That's probably going to be round about where our landing zone is, I reckon. But we've got that wind right against us here. Oh, dear. Do you know what? I'm actually going to drop down a two wood. And just let the wind kind of slow it down for us before it reaches that little thin part. Absolutely spot on, that'll do. Okay, 190. We've got 10 mile an hour wind against us though. 211, way too much. Um, so I'm gonna have to down loft this. This might end up short here. Okay, nice strike. It's turning nice, it's tracking well. Oh, that is not too bad actually. That is not too bad at all. Okay, this looks pretty straight. Oh, go on, damn, so close. Thought that I might have dropped in the side door that. So another little tap in. So close with quite a few of these putts. Okay, hole nine, 531 yards, par five. Stroke index 17, lovely plan, all the way down this left-hand side of the fairway here. And again, you can see the cart path just following all the way around. Now, that, that, the way he's done a cart path, that's probably absolutely bang on, as I said, because it's a light, of course. You actually trace all this in on top of the data. Okay, six mile an hour wind. It's just kind of dropped down a little bit. So we'll kind of aim down just this left-hand side a touch. And we get another nice drive there. I hope you are enjoying these, um, now that I'm actually recording in 1440p, I think it makes a really big difference from when I was doing it in 1080p. It's just so, so more crisp and clearer on YouTube. Okay, 211 to the pin, right. 194. See, I'd like to go with that and put a bit of down loft on it. I think that might be too far. And I hate putting loft on dry, on woods and hybrids. That's not too bad. It's going to be right at the pin now. It should be on the green. That's not too bad. I and mean, we're going to be there for an eagle putt, but we'll probably pick up the birdie the way I'm putting. Just need to get it close to the hole, of course. Okay, so we've got here 27 feet and one foot down. Just kind of let the slope take it. Come on, come on. Oh, not enough, not enough. That was going. So that's going to be another. Oh, well, it was a par five, wasn't it? Yeah, so that's going to be a birdie. Nice. I am really enjoying this course. I really do like a good lighter course or a good RCR course. Okay, on to the back nine. Hole 10, 600 yards, par five, stroke index 18. Okay, these are quite difficult, these holes, when the fairway sort of just goes straight across from the tee box. And you've got that little creek there, just to the left-hand side. Lovely. Okay, the wind is coming across from the left. So we'll try and hit round about there and just let that wind drag it into the fairway for us. 
Nice drive. That should be absolutely bang on. Beautiful. Okay, 310 yards. Okay, 260 to the green. We could reach this, but oh, that wind. Oh, 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 oh. And will that two would go over that tree? I don't think so. But we could possibly take it around the tree there. Oh, this, this could end me in a lot of hurt here. Oh shit, we hit so fast. Oh, look at that. It did go over the bloody tree. <laughs> I could have just went straight for the green. You muppet. Didn't want to take the chance though. So that's going to leave us a little pitch up to the green or a flop shot. Yeah, it's going to be a flop shot and I hate flop shots. You know I hate flop shots. <laughs> oh, I don't know whether it got to the, the 42 here actually. I think I will. Yeah. Oh, we get the perfect downswing, which is not too bad. But I just get, you're coming out of the rough for the flop shot. It does roll on quite a bit. But I don't think the um, the 36 would have made it. Okay, pretty straight putt here again. Turn it. Go on, you little beauty. I love that little bridge just going across the creek there. Okay, hole 11, 204 yards, par 3. Again, just so natural looking with the grasses and the trees. You've got that little creek on the left-hand side there as well, and you've got the cart path, the way it just sort of winds its way around. Oh, the winds went up again, <clears throat> 12 mile an hour. So we're going to drop that down to the 5 iron, 194. So that's what, 29. That's what, 215. I'm going to put a bit of loft on this as well. Oh shit, yep, I felt that on my swing. That's going to go right over the back. And just off the fringe, so that's going to probably, we'll just chip this up, I think. Okay, 15 yards. My usually the rule of thumb when I'm chipping. I never go with the club it gives you. I always either drop it down one or drop it down two. But since it's one foot up, I'll drop it down one. But again... These greens are pretty slow, but this should be okay. Yep, that's not too bad. We should get that in for the par. <gasps> no! Did you see how quick that came off the pot ahead though? <laughs> not blaming my putting. <laughs> I'm blaming HB's game. The way that turned, that turned way too quick. Okay, hole 12, 395 yards, par 4 stroke in next 12. Ah, why did it be birdie 3 as well this round? Such a pity. Okay, nice looking green, just the way it's sort of encroaching around this this water here, this little, little lake, big pond. <laughs> okay, driver. Come on. Oh, we hit so fast, but if you look at that, that's actually staying pretty straight. It hasn't moved over to the left hardly at all. And that is going to be absolutely fine. I mean, look at that, that picture there. That is just so natural looking. Okay, 92. It's playing a 91. Ooh, 108, too much. I'm going to down loft this quite a bit here. Oh, shite. Is it going to be on the green? Get on the green. Oh, just on the fringe. But you can putt from the fringe. That's a few mistakes I've had in my tempo today. And I'll tell you what, I think we are going to putt this. The only thing putting from the fringe, it seems to come off the fringe really, really quick. That didn't turn, did it? Come on. Ooh. So again, another little tap in for the par. OK, 
K-Hole 13, 420 yards, powerful, stroke index 14. Okay, looks like our approach shot is going to be probably going over the top of the water here. Just love the way the fairway just sort of turns around this little lake big pond. <laughs> Hope you like my description of the, the, the water. Little lake, big pond. Because, it, I mean, it's, it's not actually a lake, is it? And it's, it's a bit too big for a pond. A pond, I would say, is like half the size. Okay, 10 mile an hour wind coming off from the right hand side here. I love the lighting as well and the clouds. I've never noticed that before. He's bottom of his shoes got a nice color to them. That sort of orangey red color. The amount of times I've played <laughs> with this character as well. That's the first time I've noticed the, the bottom of his, his shoes. Okay, 110. So it's playing 111. Okay, we are 108. So let's put a bit of loft on this. Oh, I was kind of hoping that was going to turn a little bit more. Oh, that's okay. So hopefully we should pick up the birdie here. Oh, that's going to turn pretty quick. And it did. But we, we, we aimed out quite far there. Just because of that other hole. When it came pretty quick off the, the par head. Okay, downhill par 5 here. Hole 14. 508 yards. Par 5. Stroke index 16. Now it looks like you've got quite a bit of a camber here. Left to right on the fairway. So it looks like we're going to have to aim way over to this left hand side. So I think once it hits it's going to bounce over to the right. You got quite a lot of bunkers guarding the pin here as well. So what I might do is actually just play safe up to this little area here on the left. We shall see. We shall see. Okay. Now that wind should push it back into the fairway here for us, even though we're aimed towards the rough. And it should actually kick down to the right. There we go. That's why I aim so much over to the, the left hand side there. Okay, it's only 220 to the pin. Oh yes, I think I'm gonna go for this, you know. Oh, I've got quite a big slope there. Oh, ho, 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 I don't know. That wind is a little bit uphill. Oh, it's too much. I'm going down loft it. Oh, look how quick that came off the bloody ground as well. That turned ever so fast to the right. A little coffin fit there. Sorry about that. I don't know if it's um, the LIDAR data that makes it do that. Because if you play a normal uh, design course on H in uh, the, the golf club, it doesn't automatically from the club head shoot off to the right when you're on or the left when you're on a, a big um, left to right slope like that okay 19 yards nine feet up so it's playing around about 22 so we'll drop it down to the 24 and we shall take a full swing at this crap it's fast oh it's going tits up boys <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter when you're enjoying the course though does it like I said I should have did what I said I was going to do and played to that little section in front of the green ah uh, that's missed I think come on oh you son of a bitch so close again ah oh, it's a par that should have been a birdie yep I should have just laid up short and pitched up K hole 15, 414 yards, par 4, stroke index 16. That's a great looking hole. Love the trees either side. Again, just so natural looking. Really, really is. But of course, it's a lighter course, so it has to be natural looking. But again, that comes down to the, the individual designer. And Friend Bomber has just done an absolutely fantastic job on this. Nice. And the sun is out beaming. It was a little bit, the clouds are a little bit dark earlier it looked like. But it looks like the, the sun is right out now. K 
K318 yard drive. It looks like we're going to be on a, a right to left slope again. And again, with the LIDAR courses, uh, even the, your, your normal fictional courses, your RCRs, this adds a little bit of difficulty to your shot. It really does. Instead of pinching fairways and dropping a bunker in the middle of the fairway or pinching a fairway so it's like two cart path wide and bunker either side. These are the types of courses that the, this, this type of shot with this just adds a little bit of difficulty to it. Okay, that wind's dropped right down now, so that's good. Okay, what did I say? 104, so it's playing 107. So let's put a little bit of loft on that. Now, look at the difference there. That stayed straight. Mind you, I did push it a little bit to the right, but that actually stayed straight compared to the other one when it just shot right off the, the club face. They're going to turn in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, we get it. Nice. Nice birdie. Okay, we're doing not bad. Six under. Hole 16. 350 yards. Part four. Stroke index 14. Again, planting. Beautiful. Long, wispy grasses down the left-hand side. That. And you can see, as you can see, I don't know if you can see how this is on <clears throat> YouTube, but I can see it um, on my monitor. All the little sort of just tiny little humps and bumps on the fairway here. Very nice. Yeah, look at that. And that is absolutely spot on because it's lighter. It looks like you've got a little bit of a slope left to uh, right to left here as well. But when we get up to here, that is going to kick way off to the left. Look at that there. Now, since it's a pretty short hole, do you know what? I might just drop this down to the two wood here. I think I will. Even though it's five mile an hour wind, that should push it back into the center of the fairway for us. And I think it is actually going to kick off to the, yeah, there it goes. Kick off to the left there. K65, so it's playing around about 69. We've got 68 with a gap wedge here for a pitch. Let's put a little bit of loft on that. Oh, 68, hold on. Let's put it down to 63. Well, that might not make it because it's actually playing 69. So, we're, yeah, yeah, we're going to go with the 68, but we'll put a bit of loft on it. Oh, we hit so fast. But that is looking okay. Ah! <gasps> beauty <laughs> now when i do a little pitch in or a hole in one or anything like that guys oh that's an eagle get in now i'm going to save the shot so i hope you don't mind because eventually i am going to do a, a sort of montage oh what a hole what a view off this hole bloody hell this would be scary in real life okay so let me just save that little pitch if you don't mind okay let's toggle the hut and we can watch it again Change your camera view. Lovely little pitch. Just drops in the hole. Get in there. Okay, replay options. And we shall favorite the replay. Confirm. And let's get out of here. Okay, 171, 63 down. So that is playing round about, bang on 150. But then you've got that wind against. Oh, I'm actually going to hit this. Bang on there with that wind as well. Okay, we get the perfect, perfect. I actually thought I was going to hit a slow there. I actually felt it slow, but that's near enough in the middle of the, the marker. Oh, go on. Go on. <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh, you little beauty. So that's going to be an oh look at, I mean look at the the, the topography the, the terrain there uh, again so natural looking and a little tap in birdie that's what you like to hear in it little tap in birdie okay on to the final hole hole 18 422 yards par four stroke index 10 and as we're coming up to the the clubhouse you see the clubhouse over on the right hand side there okay you got a couple of bunkers on bunkers on the left hand side of the, the fairway. And the pin is on the left hand side of the green as well. Okay, the wind still only is down six miles an hour. Now, is that downhill? It certainly is. So that might have a chance of running out there. So again, I'm going to chicken out and I'm going to drop this down to the two wood. Okay, 
Just didn't want to take the chance. Absolutely spot on. That will do. That just, just went in lovely to that little sort of thin section of the fairway there. Okay, that leaves us 128, but 11 down, so it's ooh, about around about what, 124. And a little bit of a slope left to right. Oh, my mouse cursor. You just can't see it because on OBS as a setting, it doesn't show your mouse cursor. I just flicked over to my other page there on the other screen. Okay, so that is playing 124, did I say? Yeah, I've got, I'm sitting here with two 27 inch monitors. <laughs> That's pretty good setup. Okay, 124, 122 we are. So I'm going to put just a tiny, tiny touch of loft on it. Because as you know, once it hits, you'll get that little skip forward. And that is tracking absolutely beautiful. Come on. Oh, I shouldn't have put any loft on it. <laughs> but that's going to leave us a, a sort of medium-sized putt here for the birdie. Come on, let's get this. Go, 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 get in there. Now that is probably one of my favorite LIDAR courses that I've played to date. I really, really enjoyed that. That's Hawks View Golf Club, guys, and that is by Friend Bomber. And with it being Hawks View Golf Club, it is actually um, Como Crossens Golf Club at Hawks View. There's actually two or three, I think there's three courses actually on the plot, but that was fantastic that is a beautiful course he has done such a fantastic job on that give us a play guys you will not be disappointed and don't forget down in the description check the description i'll leave a link to his um his course catalog and you see the amount of courses this guy has put out absolutely phenomenal credit to the game it really is so again guys if you like the content hit that like button and i'll catch you again next time thank you for watching